Um, and it's, I, I just, yeah, so when I'm thinking about, about those earliest memories, it's I, I'm embracing and celebrating the false models of the world and just allowing the, the great tingles to come. Uh, it, it's interesting you say that because um, I, this is the second time I've, I've seen the film and I had the pleasure to meet you today and tell you it was one of my favorite films that I saw last year. And I would recommend seeing it again at home because it's a really different experience alone, like in a dark room with a small TV also, which is amazing to have a film that can play so differently in different formats. But this time I was noticing a lot of different things, including the repetition of the words, and I was wondering why you did that, and, and hearing you speak, it made me think you were solidifying something real and false at the same time. And is that part of the web that the character's trapped in, or part of the... Yeah, I, I knew, uh, when, uh, first of all, when I finished shooting this thing, I didn't know how to go about writing the narration for the thing. Um, so you, sh you shot entirely and then created the narration later? Yeah, I, I wanted to beat the, the really, there's a lot of documentarians uh, here at Ebert, Ebert Fest this year, but so the word out on documentary filmmaking, and I'd never made one before, uh, and some would say I still haven't. But, <laughs> but I really wanted to, since I kind of embraced this as more of a propaganda film, I wanted to beat all the work that documentarians go through. They, they have a by far higher shooting ratio, you know, of, of footage shot to footage that actually eventually makes it into the movie. Um, they're not supposed to find their true subject until they're in the editing room. It just sounded, and they're supposed to do a lot of research and stuff like that. It sounded like a lot of work. <laughs> Once I decided that it, this was going to be my Winnipeg, not anybody else's, I knew I, I could conduct all the research I uh, needed right here in my heart or in my feeble memory, and um, um, and that maybe I could beat the system by um, making a list, so at least an outline of the order of the scenes and everything. But I couldn't. Um, when it came time to assembling it, the original order was unacceptable. I think all the stuff involving my family was going to be together and toward the end of the movie, and that was no good. And, and so there was this long editing process, and, and I feel um, a bit like more like a documentarian, even though I, I, it's debatable whether I am one or not. Um, so um, I'm on the verge of remembering your question. Uh, it was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things got pretty delirious. No, uh, I, 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 mean, I had it a second ago. The way you repeat, or oh, repeating, repeating, repeating. repeating. Thank you. So, <laughs> repeating the words, repeating the words, repeating the words. 